everyone in this video I'm gonna be creating a hip roof um, right now I have this structure here it's first floor second floor there's some ceiling joists and I'm just gonna create a hip roof and I'll put some framing on the hip, hip roof and where you might locate some joists uh, reinforcement for some post downs for the hips so here we go so right, right now I'm in the 3d model I want to go to the attic framing plan. The attic framing plan is just the attic over here. So just click on that. So this is the attic framing plan. Uh, we're going to go where it says architecture. We're going to go where it says roof. And it's going to be roof by footprint. So click on that. All right, next, we're going to go where it says pick lines. I'm going to click on that guy. I'm going to go next to the structure and we're going to define slope. We're going to give it an offset. Say we're going to give an offset of 6 inches and we're going to define slopes. And we, know, we want to define slope on each of the walls or you'll see. So click there, click here, click there, and click over here. All right, and now, last but not least, we would like to join because if I press this right now, if I press this, if I press the uh, green check mark, it's not gonna like it. The lines must be closed or connected. So I'm like, okay, let's continue. So to connect those lines, just click on that guy right there. And what's the name of that? Trim extend to corner. There you go. Trim extend to corner, and just click on the lines you wanna extend to. And the degrees for this is 30. I'm just going to leave it like that because I just want to show you guys how to do hip roof. It's 30 degrees. So I think that's okay. So just click the green check mark. That should work. So right here now we have a roof, a hip roof. And let's go to the 3D model so you guys can see how it looks like. Bam! That's our hip. Right now it's floating in the air. That's okay. Now what we're going to do, I want to see right through that. So click on the roof, right click where it says or override graphics and view, hit element by element. Then you're going to click on the surface transparency and let's change this to like around 80. Hit OK. So now we could, we could see through the architectural roof. So now let's put in some some framing into the hip roof. So I don't know. Go to structure. Go to where it says beam. And I think I already have two by twelves in here. Yeah. Click on the two by twelves and then click on the three D snapping. That's gonna snap onto the roof. And not only that, but click on pick lines again. So I want this guy to be 2 by 12s it's my hip it's taking a sweet time hip hip and let me get over here and my structural ridge right I haven't done all this like the designing part of it I'm just want to show you guys how to do a hip roof and how to frame it uh, let's go back to the attic framing plan. All right, and let's put in some uh, some rafters. So let's go again to where it says two. Well, excuse me, where it says beam. I want this to be two by tens. So click on the two by tens, and I have a line. So let's just create. Click on the line. Let's, let's go where right in the middle of that. Click on that guy right there. That's good. Now I'm just gonna offset the two by tens. It's gonna offset that. Actually, let's backtrack a little bit. I want this guy, the raptor, to be touching the ceiling tag because that's how it's gonna be tied in. And now. Let's offset this guy 16 inches on center. And just 
this offset. It's okay that the framing is overlapping because what I'm gonna do is is I'm just going to hit escape a few times. Uh I'm gonna click on that beam right there, the hit beam, and I'm gonna click on the chip extend again. I'm gonna go go close in, click on that guy, and I'm going to snap or click on the uh, or the frame that I want it to be trimmed. So right now it's being trimmed. There you go. Okay. And just do the same thing. I just copy. No, excuse me. Offset. Let's keep offsetting. So now that this side is all, <clears throat> so now that this side is all set, let's see if we could uh, mirror this. So just it's a little annoying. Right, so I remember that. Click on skip a few times. Let's go to see how it looks like on the 3D model. And it's looking pretty good. My Raptors. I don't have my Raptors here going, but I could do that too. And then eventually, what, I'm, what we'll be doing is putting some post downs, some post downs, and that those post downs are gonna be landing on a, a ceiling joist. And usually, what engineers do is that they will design for that ceiling joist. It'll probably be like a triple or a quad LVL. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how to uh, how to model a hip roof um, on Revit. So hope you guys learn a little bit and have a great day. Thank you.